Welcome back, friends. When last we left off... Where is she? I already told you, she's fine. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Who the hell is this guy? Should I recognize him? Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Oh no. Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Is that her dad? No, there's no way. Her dad wouldn't lock her in her own room. In what? You know what? Here's the radio. This is all I've got, okay? You travel light. I don't believe you. I made it through a horde of zombies with nothing but a radio. That's everything. Go ahead and search me. No, I'm not touching you. Just sit down. Dude, I'm gonna mess this guy up. Do you know who I am? Not a clue. What? Do I? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest. Yeah, dude. Full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. I didn't want to take it. Honest. Yeah. I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right, man. It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Oh, no. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Not on purpose. If it were on purpose, you'd be a sociopath. I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said... He was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. How the hell did you come back without your son? And then we came back and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. Dude, any second, Kenny's gonna break through that door and you're, you're dead. I'm sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? You're starting to get there, man. We all do. We're all monsters. That's a good answer. We all do. Some more than others. Uh-oh. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. It's more complicated than that. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. 
Wait, what? Are you talking about Lily? She deserved it. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died. What? I'm not even following. It's not the whole story. The whole story? How could you know all this? Dude, it is Lily, isn't it? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did. After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others, for revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. Um, I, I think he's crazy. Let's just say no, though. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. You're gonna have to kill me, dude. You'll have to kill me. Yeah. I know. This is hey, it. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. Dude. What are you... Is that your wife's head? Oh my god. I'm glad too. Oh my god. Clementine? I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Use the lamp, Clementine. Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. Okay, it's gonna, gonna be okay. I like Clementine a lot, though. It's she's gonna be okay. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. Boom! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is it! Yes! Dude, you're so dead right now. Dude, you're toast. Take it! Take it! Oh my god, how hard do I have to push this button right now? That's right, dude. You got your wife's head in a bag, dude. Sleep. Go to sleep. Shh. All right, now you have to cut his head off. You have a butcher's knife. Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> My god. Right in the head. Would have come back. Exactly. That's right, sweet pea. You're, you're a fast learner. Oh my God. Easy. Watch I'm the hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I'm sure you don't smell good either. We, we haven't changed this entire ordeal. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. 
We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. He was a bad man. You don't have to look at that. Now you're both looking at I'm it. Sorry you had to see that. He was going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. All right. I'd better pause it here. Subscription button. I think it's in the top left now. Maybe. Bottom left? I don't know. Next episode. Top right, maybe? Hope to see you there. Until then. Ho oh ho! Hold it to my beard! Watch this!